he, she has been inspiring women all over the world to follow their dreams now for half a century. The first woman in space, Valentina Tereshkova, now celebrating 50 years since her groundbreaking flight. This story to RT's Tom Barton. One small step for a woman. Two years after Yuri Gagarin, Valentina Tereshkova chased his rocket vapors up to orbit in 1963 to become the first woman in space. The training was the same for men and women. Space doesn't make allowances for gender. Even today, Valentina is a folk hero, only slightly less famous than Gagarin in Russia and in space. Valentina Tereshkova, thank you. Thank you so much for being an inspiration to me and many other women and girls around the world to reach our dreams. Congratulations. But back then, she started off as one of many, selected from among hundreds of applicants. One of five other finalists could have gone in her place. Of course I wanted to go into space. All of us did. Now we're celebrating Tereshkova's anniversary, but at the time, we were naturally very upset that he didn't choose us. It was a time of Cold War, with Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev desperate to keep the momentum going after Gagarin was first to cross one of the great hurdles of the space race. As such, the project was kept top secret. Valentina didn't even tell her own mother what she was doing. I told her I was in a parachute jumping team, and she believed me. When her friends congratulated her, she didn't believe them either, saying she's not been in space, she's a parachutist. It would be two decades, though, before the next female cosmonaut went into space. And after 50 years, only three Russian female cosmonauts have ever been in orbit. There are lots of women astronauts in other countries, and it's hard to explain why the situation in Russia is different. This is largely due to Russian attitudes to women in space. I would call this uncivilized. Perhaps they don't trust women enough. Valentina became a perfect publicity tool for the Soviet Union. She was banned from flying ever again after Gagarin's death, viewed as too valuable a public face to lose. Along this hall of fame are statues of men central to Soviet space exploration. But Valentina Tereshkova is the only woman you'll find here. Her call sign was Seagull. And for the USSR and for all the women who dreamt of doing the same, this Seagull flew higher than any other. Tom Barton, RT, Moscow.